Well, 2023 brought one of the most bizarre political stories we've ever seen as first term Franklin Alderman Gabrielle Hansen launched a controversial campaign for mayor. The News Channel 5 chief investigative reporter Phil Williams uncovered one salacious detail after another that not only received national attention, but also led to record breaking local voter turnout. Many observers thought Gabrielle Hansen actually had a good chance of being elected as Franklin's mayor in 2023. But as our investigation unfolded, the local realtor would face a torrent of questions, beginning with questions about a photo. Welcome to the Gabrielle Hansen for mayor of the city of Franklin campaign. Gabrielle Hansen was a Franklin alderman who relished her MAGA credentials, even posting a pic of herself at Mar-a-Lago. Yet she had posted this image claiming to be backed by a diverse group of women, expressing her heartfelt appreciation for their invaluable support and encouragement with the hashtags FranklinTN and Vote Hansen. God, I actually do not know who that is. But when New Channel 5 investigates track down the women in the photo, all of them from out of state, they denied knowing her. Any message you would have for her? I would encourage her to go make genuine friends so she can take photos with those folks if she's looking for supporters. Um, there's no need to call them pictures on the internet to make up a story. None of us need that. And when we tried to get answers, do you owe these women an apology? Well, what does this say about your integrity? No answer from you about your integrity? Hansen had nothing to say. So you may hear things out there about what happened. Then New Channel 5 investigates dug up old criminal charges from Dallas against Lorraine Gabrielle Bush, her maiden name, one for money laundering, a second charge for promoting prostitution and engaging in organized criminal activity. I answered the phone, I took a name, I took a number and a date. And at the end of my work session, I would call the owners and give them that information. On social media, Gabrielle Hansen posted this video claiming she had been an innocent call taker. We showed her statement to legal analyst Nick Leonardo. When you look at those charges and you hear her story that she was just answering the telephone, does it add up? Uh, it doesn't add up, uh, frankly. Because once it goes in their mind and in their head, it's there forever. Henson had also used her position as a city alderman to try to block Franklin's Pride Festival from a city park. Yet New Channel 5 investigates uncovered this photo of her husband, Tommy Hansen, in a 2008 Pride Parade in Chicago when he was running for Congress. We caught up with him at City Hall. Mr. Hansen, I want to give you a chance to respond to this. Can you explain this photo? You know, this is not the place I'm going to talk to you. We showed the image to two young Franklin Democrats. Wow. It just it amazes me. You're having trouble processing. Yeah, like for someone to claim that they're a person of, you know, family values and to be against this, but yet here we have direct evidence of the complete opposite of what she claims to stand against. Like, who is she? Like, what does she stand for? That's a question that would be raised again when Hansen showed up at a candidate's forum escorted by white supremacists. Gabrielle's a friend of mine, and uh, she's had some credible threats against her. So, uh, well, uh, I'm just uh, posted up out here. <laughs> okay. Show her some support. One of them, Brad Lewis, has described himself as, quote, an actual literal Nazi, which made us wonder why she'd be associating with such figures. Ms. Henson, the, the people you're with have described themselves as literal Nazis. Is this the type of people you should be associating with? Excuse me, Phil. They have said they're literal Nazis. She, 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 she is here with people who have described themselves as Nazis. Is that appropriate for someone who wants to be the, the mayor of Franklin? Hansen responded to the controversy by sharing a social media post from one of the hate groups warning there is no political solution. Is it your mission to divide our city? Because you're doing a bang up job of it right now. Yet at a meeting where her fellow aldermen called her out, Hansen still refused to denounce her white supremacist friends. I'm not going to denounce anybody their right to be whatever it is that they want to be, whether I agree with what they do in their personal life or not. This morning, my text messages were blowing up. People thanking me for my comments last night. 
and people very appalled that she would not denounce the hate group that appeared here and our public forum. In the end, Franklin voters spoke re-electing incumbent Mayor Ken Moore, defeating Hanson by a four to one margin. Even now, there is some speculation around Franklin that Gabrielle Hanson might try another run at another political office, leading to the question, was 2023 the end of the story or just the end of a chapter? Phil Williams, News Channel 5 Investigates.